there has been such a dearth of training hinterland teachers. Like I said, 30 in regions 1, 7, 8, and 9 in 2019 versus 1,011 now. That if we were to apportion and give quotas about who could come out, the place that most needs it, trained teachers, which is the hinterland, would be the place that suffers the most because they have the most untrained teachers. So the battle philosophically at central ministry is, do we continue to leave untrained teachers in the classroom as babysitters? Because I know what you're talking about. Or do we bring them out, train them, and send them back in? When do we bite the bullet? How much of this bullet should we bite? And so that's a question we are also grappling with. We have entire schools. It would have helped if more teachers had come out and been trained, even in small pieces. We have entire schools which have staff of 100% of the teachers untrained. Now, which one of those do I say, you can't come this year? You should come or you shouldn't come. So we're looking at devising ways. We have some rivers in the Bar some schools in the Barama River where we would have, if we were to bring out all the untrained teachers, is everybody coming out? So how do we provide education for them in the meanwhile while these teachers train? And what is the balance? Is it better to have two years of untrained teachers because they came out to train, of the entire school coming out to train, or one teacher coming out? What would be the value of that one teacher going back in, and how long would we take to see the results? of training. I think at this point we're leaning on the side of biting the bullet and training everybody. 